everyone, thank you so much for joining us with Bride Tribe Chattanooga. I'm Chloe, the owner of Wildflower Wedding Planning, and I'm here with Jennifer. She owns All About the Bride. This is an amazing store full of dresses, favorite thing about wedding planning. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, your background in mm -hmm. wedding planning and dresses and all this fun stuff? Mm -hmm. So I actually used to design and produce women's clothing, and so it really helps kind of me help brides process the samples and how they should fit and tell them what changes are worth doing and maybe what some that aren't worth doing and I'm able to really help them prepare for alterations so it's really good to have that kind of background to assist brides better. Okay so I'm a bride I just bought my dress what is the timeline and schedule that I should be looking at to now get my alterations? Great question. They need at least two months to start ahead of time. And that's the safest bet. That way you don't have to be rushed through the process. I mean, and they need to at least come prepare to come to the alterations place two to three times. Okay. They'll start at the top, make sure the straps are good, do the bodice, and then typically they'll work their way down to the hem okay. and then do the bustle. So it does take, you know, multiple rounds because you can't move on until one piece is perfected. Right. Because if this isn't sitting right, it's going to adjust the hem and then they've just wasted their time. Right. Know, so it's not it. like a one and done mm -hmm. type thing. It's, nope. it's uh, keep on going and mm -hmm. alterations. Mm -hmm. um, what if someone loses weight or gains weight during the, the process of alteration? So if they, we typically measure, you know, based on the size that they are when they purchase the gown. Now if that change when it comes in, or even once they started alterations, it's easy to be taken in, but it's a little trickier when you have to let it out. There is some seam allowance that allows gowns to be taken out, but it depends on the material type. Some are a little bit more sensitive and you can kind of see if you let them out more mm -hmm. than others, but it's definitely still doable. But I always recommend that once you start alterations, you maintain, maintain, right. maintain, maintain. <laughs> <laughs> So would you suggest that brides be at the desired weight when they go and pick out their dress? I, you know, no, because gowns are, if they decide they still want to lose weight, um, it's really easy for gowns to be taken in. Okay. Uh, I would just say, just don't prepare, you know, don't try to get a size down or two sizes down because you're going to lose that weight, you know. Why stress yourself out? Right. You're beautiful anyways and, yeah. you know, no need to add any more stress to the process. And if you do, you do, great, have the gown taken in. Right. If Absolutely. not, at least you'll fit into the gown still. You right. Know? Because you want to look great yeah. and you want to feel great and mm -hmm. it's basically about the process of just um, looking beautiful on wedding day. The dress mm -hmm. is such a huge, important part of all the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. um, as far as like cost of alterations, is it worth it to buy your your favorite gown that you've ever seen but it doesn't fit? Like, is it better to find something that is more fitting or does the alteration cost make it not worth it in the end? It really depends on the price, you okay. know, because you have to anticipate that there will be some more alterations costs uh, if it is so much bigger. But sometimes, you know, gowns need to be trimmed in on the side anyways, and they don't typically charge per how much they take it in, you right. know? Right, okay. It depends on the gown, of course. Uh, so I would just say if they loved it, then it's worth it, right. you know? But it depends on how many sizes it is. You know, so I wouldn't go larger than five sizes okay. to be altered down. That's, that's kind of, that's our, the fifth size is a little tricky already, so. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much for telling us all about dress alterations. This has been so informative and so helpful. This is a beautiful shop. If you guys want to learn more about alterations, then make sure to check out the blog associated with this video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Bye.